You keep hearing amazing things about JVC. The yield is above 8%, the area is developing, creating lots of demand with people continuing to move there, meaning capital appreciation is all but guaranteed. But there's a dark secret about JVC that nobody is telling you about. Watch this video to find out the big issue with JVC and how you can turn this disadvantage into your own advantage and make a lot of money doing so. Okay, so first, a bit of history about JVC. JVC, or otherwise known as Jamira Village Circle, launched back in 2005. It's a 560 hectare Nikhil development. If that means nothing to you, they're the same developers who built the Palm Jumeirah. It's conveniently located about 50 minutes from the Dubai Marina and is a popular location with young families and a natural next step from a glitzy life in the Dubai Marina. In actual fact, a lot of my friends have moved here. It has recently developed into a nice mature community. Parks, malls, your basic amenities. Current population is about 80,000 people, which is expected to grow to over 300,000 in the coming years. Over the past 12 months, prices have risen by less than 5%, whilst rents have increased by over 27%, meaning the yield you can get is over 8%. So considering properties are so affordable, what's so bad about it? Surely you're buying in early and you'll get those sweet gains of capital appreciation that everybody talks about. But sadly, that's just ignoring the massive problem. So let's look at the dark side of JVC that nobody's telling you about. With property, it's all about supply versus demand. And I would agree that prices would rise if current supply stayed the same. But here's the dirty JVC secret that nobody is telling you about. The supply in JVC is increasing at an alarming rate. If you were to go onto Google Maps and zoom into JVC, you can see all these empty plots of land and they're going to be built on within the next three years. Current units available in JVC are 28,000, with a further 12,500 units scheduled to come onto the market by the end of 2025. That means 46% of the current supply is scheduled to come onto the market in the next three years. This is further highlighted when you go onto Property Finder and click on Properties to Buy. There's a massive 4,532 apartments listed to be sold. So what exactly does this mean? This means that supply is likely to start outstripping demand in the next couple of years, meaning to attract tenants, you need to be competitively priced at a lower rate than what we're seeing today. Furthermore, if you decided you want to sell the property, there are a lot of other properties likely being sold. Therefore, I find it highly unlikely we'll see any large capital appreciation in the short to medium term, demonstrated by the fact that property prices have increased by less than 5% in the last year. Average to buy prices increasing by 12%. You can clearly see the cracks are starting to form in JVC. I've been very JVC doom and gloom. So what exactly is the advantage about JVC that I was talking about in the beginning of the video? Well, let me tell you what to look out for and then I'll let you know about the huge opportunity in the area. I'm not saying that investing in JVC is a bad idea, but it is vital vital that you pick high quality projects that end users will demand if you want to make money. A few examples of these investments are Belgravia, Oxford Residence and Signature Living. There are a lot more examples of these but these were the first options I feel more confident in and they're the first that came to the top of my head. Now if you want somewhere off plan the thing to do is make sure you go with a high quality reputable developer like Ellington Properties. However even with reputable developers you should expect handovers to be delayed by months or in worst case scenarios by years. It is also vital that you use a reputable broker who knows the JVC area and what will attract end users to your investment. So now let's look at one massive opportunity in JVC that hardly anyone talks about. Of the 40,432 total units, only 1,766 are townhouses or villas. That's about 5% of the current supply. This therefore creates a huge opportunity to buy stock that is very limited in an area that is expected to see huge increases in demand, especially when you consider young families of the people who are looking to move here. Therefore, in this segment of the market, I expect to see increases in rents and capital values over the long term. So if you really want a piece of JVC, this is where I'd look first. And if you're thinking about investing in Dubai, feel a little overwhelmed by all the options, don't want to make the wrong investment decision, you're welcome to book a call with me in the link in the description below, and I'll help work out the best best investment decision for your needs. Otherwise, if you want to make sure you don't fall into any more traps, watch this next video to learn all about the investment basics in Dubai.